So in the previous lecture, we used Minitab to create ROC curve. Let's analyze what we have on that ROC curve. So that curve is on the top right of this slide here. So this is the ROC curve which we plotted for the model. Now what is ROC curve? ROC curve is basically a trade-off between sensitivity and specificity. So if you look at this, so this is the sensitivity and this is 1 minus specificity. So it is a balance between these two things. And another important thing here is that if you look at this line, which is 45 degrees line, so this line basically represents that the model doesn't have any capability to separate. So this is basically a line which is for a random model. So if your model is random and it is randomly creating values as true and false, then basically this is the line representing that model. So you could see that this line is of the useless model. If your model is useless, it doesn't do anything. So that means you can find out whether the person has a credit card or not just by flipping a coin. Just by chance you can find out. This line represents that model. Now farther our points are away from this line and the ideal model is expected to be something like this, which is having one value at 1 and 0 and it is a rectangle. So this is the ideal model. So the best model will be something like this, which is shown here in red dots. So in the best case, what you will get is the area under this curve equal to 1. Because if you see here, this is 1, the sensitivity is 1, and 1 minus specificity is 1 here. So if your curve is something like this, so this is that 45 degree line. And if your curve is ROC curve is something like this, then the area under this curve will be 1 unit. So this is the maximum area which a curve can have. This is the area as 0.5. So if your area is 0.5, that means your model is randomly generating values. So your model has to have a value of area under curve more than 0.5. Now 1 is the best. 0.5 is the minimum you should be expecting. And minimum means even if you have 0.5, that doesn't help you. So what you are expecting is the area under curve to be something around let's say 0.7 to be a reasonable good model. 0.8 to 0.9 that will be a really good model and ideal model will be let's say 0.9 to 1 that is extremely good model. And this is what you use area under ROC curve for. So after talking about the area under ROC curve which came out to be 0.8852 in this case, let's look at few other model summaries. And in that, in the next video, we will talk about R square. And then later on, we will talk about AIC, AICC and BIC as well. But let's start with R square in the next video.